up, y'all. I said I wasn't coming back with no more readings, but um, I decided to get comfortable to get me something to eat and then come back with a reading. All right. Yes. Um. So um, let's see who should I bless with some readings here today. What sign? I did see Virgo. Um, so we're going to do this together. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors of my highest good. Who should be blessed with a reading today? What sign needs a reading? What sign really needs messages here today? Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. What sign really needs some messages here today? What sign? What zodiac sign needs messages? We have Libra. So this could be another Libra that needs, maybe you need some more messages here, Libra. So I already did a reading for you earlier today. We could do another reading today for you, Libra, okay? Um, and I have Gemini on the bottom of the deck. So Libra and Gemini, here we go. <laughs> so spirit guides, angels and ancestors, bless me with the messages here to provide for Libra. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and the North Node. What is the message here for Libra at this time? Spirit guys, want me to do Libra again? So, Libra it is. All right. So, I'm trying to figure out if I should do a what's coming to you, Libra, or what do you need to know? Spirit guys, angels and ancestors of my highest good, Holy Spirit, tell me what do my Libras need to know right now? Yes, I'm in my mumu. Yes, I'm in my bed. Yes, I'm comfortable. Let me tell you something. I'm going to do a reading wherever I feel like doing a reading at. And I'm pretty sure Libras don't mind. I know y'all don't mind. Y'all don't care because y'all love me, right? Okay, so let's see for my Libras. What do I want to use? Because I already brought a couple decks over here that, um, hmm. Okay, we're going to start with um, this deck here, Libra. All right, tell me what my Libras need to know, man. What does my Libras need to know at this time? Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors of my highest good. What is the overall energy here for my Libras? <clears throat> Show me the most strongest energy here. There's somebody that's venting about you, Libra. All right. There's a masculine. It could be a feminine. Somebody could be venting to a karmic friend about you. Maybe you declined somebody's offer, Libra, and this person got triggered. All right, they can be triggered, but I feel like I don't know why they mad. They not shit. This person's triggered because maybe you called them out on their bullshit, or maybe you said that they wasn't shit, or whatever this is. You have somebody mad. They're very triggered. So what is this person saying about my Libras? What are they venting about Libra and saying about Libra? Damn. <laughs> that you won't creep with them in reverse. They're like, no, that person's not going to creep with me or, or whatever this is. So I feel like, Libra, this could be like, this could be, say like, this could be a masculine or a feminine energy. It don't matter. Okay. It's just energy. This person could be saying like, oh, they're not going to creep with me or they're venting about you to somebody else. And I feel like it's like whoever they vent into, this person gets mad at you because you're not willing to creep with them or you're not willing to sleep with someone. I'm sorry, I like my little curls in my face with my little high bun. You're not willing to sleep with someone, so it's like, <laughs> I don't know, Libra, but somebody here is like mad because you're not giving up that good, good. Yeah, it's the same shit, different day with this person. I feel like you're focused on your business, all right? You could, for some of you, you could be business owners, all right? This is like Empress Energy, Boss Energy. Yeah, and this person is in love with you. Whoever this masculine is, they're in love with you. And I feel like there's someone here, there's a Karen that is talking shit about you. Okay? This person wants to fight you or they they could be like um, trying to maliciously gossip about you through these fake ass accounts. Whoever this feminine is. I know this is kind of messy, y'all, but you know, I have to read it because this person keeps coming out. They want to be seen. All right. You're protected from this energy here, Libra. We have girl fight, arguments, physical fight at war and competing. Somebody could be saying that they want to beat your ass or they want to fight you or, or whatever this is. Okay. But it's like they do this on the internet. 
because I'm getting this masculine could be venting it to their to their hunger and they're like, oh, you won't let. Um, I mean, I'm getting this person. You won't let this masculine creep with you. So it's like, now nah, I want to fight you because you won't let this person like fuck with you. Or I don't know. Okay, Libra. I just, I just don't. Okay. Give me this masculine as venting. They could be venting to your enemy, as a matter of fact. It's like, I'm hearing somebody like, I told you. I told you they don't fuck with you. This is your soulmate venting to somebody else. Maybe they need, they venting to someone that's in competition with you. Mm. What is this venting about when it comes to when it comes to my Libras? What is this venting about? To my males, um, to my men, y'all could just flip the roles. It could be like this feminine energy that's venting to a masculine energy that likes them. Okay. What's this venting about? The tea. Yeah, it's like somebody is not getting no type of tea because the gossiping is in reverse. This could be somebody gossiping to a friend. Or maybe somebody already knows the tea. Whatever this is, this is not no truth. Okay, with this um, talking negatively, exposing the truth. This person could be talking to this friend, but it's like they're they're spreading some type of lie. It's a lie. Whatever this is, they're venting to this person about. It's like this is someone here that they're supposed to trust or this is someone here that could be. Okay, so the friend that they're venting to could be hexing them. This could be this energy talking about a hex. This could be this energy being two-faced or they're trying to cover up some type of mistake or they're trying to cover up the fact that they try to curse you. They're covering up the fact that they try to hex you, Libra. But they want you to like, it's like they're venting to them. But maybe they're trying to break some type of hex or um, I'm getting somebody trying to break some type of hex or curse by starting a new beginning with you. This person, what about this friend? Who is this friend? Maybe this person is supposed to come towards you. This friend could be married. Okay, maybe this person was to come was supposed to come towards you, sleep with you, so that way they can break some type of hex or curse or whatever it is. But it's like you're not letting them come in. And whoever this is, they've been venting to. It's like this person has it out to because you don't want to let them come in and, I guess, sleep with you to break some type of hex or curse or, I don't know. What is this argument? Girl fight? Talking shit for Libra? Yeah, because something is over. Final decision, right or wrong. Making honorable decisions, authority, pros and cons. Being tested, moving forward by seeking acceptance, weighing options. Something here is over with this Karen or whoever this is that, that could be like wanting to compete and argue with you for some reason. Okay? I feel like you have moved on with ship, long journey, vacation, business opportunities, long distance. This could be somebody that's long distance from you. Yeah, this could be someone here that has to travel out of the city. This person keeps talking shit about you every chance that they get. We're going to get some tarot. We're going to see who it is. Okay, what about this judge? This could be another Libra with this judge here in the scales. Okay. This could be somebody with Libra placements or whatever this is. What about this Karen? And why? Okay, give me this, this physical fight at war and competing letter waiting for an answer approval decision or contract income and change via news a new opportunity a challenge needing communication i don't know libra i just feel like somebody has it out for you i don't know this could be this person waiting for you to respond to them or something like that and you're not responding to this person you can care less. This is a troll that's waiting for your response or they're waiting for you to communicate with them. You're not communicating with this fucking troll. You can care less about who this, who this raggedy ass person is. That's a cheater or whatever. I don't know. You can care less though. What's going on here with this venting? It's like 
it's like somebody's like, oh, you're not going to allow this person to, you're not going to let them come in and, and, and you're not going to creep with them. So it's like, I, I don't know. What's this friend T in reverse with this, um, the four swords, the, the world, all right, and the four of cups. I feel like this is someone here that's like, man, or you're not making peace with a situation until somebody yields and close out a cycle. And that's that's true. Like, Libra, it's like you don't want to be, okay, you're not making peace with a situation or you made peace with a cycle being closed. You made peace with it. Something could be significant about April the 21st. All right. April the 2nd, April the 1st. April the 4th here. You made peace about some, a cycle being closed. You're like, man, I completed what I was supposed to complete. I did. I learned my lesson. I learned the karmic lesson. And that's just that. I'm just bored. I don't want to do this karmic lesson over again. I feel like somebody keeps trying to put you back in some type of karmic cycle and you just don't want to. You have freed yourself. The world, the before, I mean, the full card. You have freed yourself. The nine of pentacles for some of you are single and you're self-sufficient and you are abundant on your own and your own right, happy, okay? I feel like you made the decision. Something here is closed or you're like, man, look, I'm not about to deal with you when you're dealing with everybody else. All right. So it's like I made peace with it. You don't want to be a part of no third party. I feel like you put your foot down a queen of swords. You spoke to this person. They're in and out. You don't want to deal with nobody that can't give you nothing serious. You want something serious. If it's not a serious committed relationship, if it's not something that you, you want that's in and out, you don't want nobody that's here today and gone tomorrow. We are too fucking grown for that. You are not willing to creep with someone. Or, or be on a down low or have a secret relationship or, or whatever this is. Okay. What's creeping in reverse? It's a no. I feel like you rejected this person for, for wanting to creep with them. It's the same shit, different day. Yeah, two of swords. You are not about to be put or you are not a fucking option, Libra. And I'm in title that you're not an option. You're not this person's option. Yeah, look, the five of wands, you don't be want to be put in no drama with the nonsense they have going on to a source. So you could be avoiding making a decision or you're not speaking or you're not saying anything. What's the two of swords? Your energy, Libra. This is you. You're like, man, I'm just not communicating with you or I'm not. I don't want to uh, creep with you because that's the bad decision. And you don't give a fuck about this person, how they feel. Yeah, the queen of swords is coming out again with the nine of wands, the strength card you're holding back from this player. So I feel like you're putting your foot down with the Queen of Swords. I feel like you you telling it like it is. Either some of you could be calling on justice, all right, or you could be calling justice down. What's the Queen of Swords? So I feel like you express some type of clear boundaries. Like, look, this is this. Do not cross this line. Do not come come over this boundary and don't do that. And I feel like this could be someone here that's very disrespectful and they keep crossing boundaries. They keep stepping over the line. They just don't give a fuck. So it's like, that's the most disrespectful shit you can ever do. Like, if I give you a line and I tell you, don't cross this line, and then you cross the line anyway, you basically spitting in my face. You basically telling me, fuck you. I'm going to keep crossing your line. I'm going to keep crossing your boundaries. I'm going to keep doing what I want to do because I can. I'm going to keep abusing my power because I can. And I feel like, Libra, you're going to keep two swords in this motherfucker because you can. You could be telling somebody no. You're avoiding someone. Yeah, the Hierophant in reverse. I feel like, well, okay, the Hierophant. You could be avoiding this person because you know they're in a commitment or you know they're in a marriage or you know they're with someone. Yeah, secret with the moon card. This could be to somebody in a commitment. It's like you want a commitment with this person, but then you want to come and creep with me because and, and you don't want to, you don't want to like let go of the person that you're with. You want to have me in a third party, three of swords. It's a no. It's a no. I feel like also you could be calling out this entity, this institution. Okay. Queen of swords and a hierophant. Yeah, the justice. So I feel like something's going to be made fair for you, uh, Libra. Something be so, okay. November fifth could be significant. 
Okay, whatever this is, this is going to be like something's going to be balanced just for you or whatever this is. I don't know. Maybe you could be calling, um, you could be calling like a uh, higher up. So you could be called, maybe you need to call the higher ups or something like that. We have justice and a hierophant here. What about this justice and a hierophant? Somebody could have went to the court and got married. We have the nine of pentacles. This may have to do with your stability or your foundation. I feel like you're about to get some type of, uh, yeah, ace of pentacles. Yeah, you're about to, somebody here is like trying to pay to have you put in a, somebody's trying to pay to have you put out or put out in the street. Because either you spoke some type of truth or you, or whatever this is, and now somebody's mad. So they're trying to have you put out in, in the street. They're paying. Look, the Ace of Pentacles with the Five of Pentacles. Somebody's trying to pay to have you to be put out in the street. So if you are single, if you have children, they're paying for this to happen. Or somebody's trying to pay to have you to experience some type of fin financial loss or poverty because they're in competition with you or they want to fight you. Five of Wands, Four of Wands. This could be a neighborhood fight or somebody wants to pull up to your home and fight you for some reason. Anyway, what's the nine of pentacles? Because you're stable or what, what is this about? What's the nine of pentacles? The king of pentacles. Okay, because the king of pentacles wants to provide for you. They want to they wanna secure a connection with you. And this could be a Taurus or somebody with Taurus placements. They see you as self-sufficient. They see that you're independent or like, you know what I mean? You're just classy, like you lay back and you chill. And I feel like you're just unbothered. You don't want to creep. You would rather be celibate or you would rather be single. There could be also someone here that's like um, making a bad decision by like um, somebody keeps reporting something or they keep calling to this hierophant energy. Yeah, somebody keeps like talking to this hierophant energy, like trying to like get some type of justice on you. Also, Libra. I'm also picking up, yeah, somebody keeps trying to like report you or they keep trying to manipulate a situation. Somebody's trying to manipulate a lover or somebody's doing love spells as well. What is this Queen of Swords saying to this Hierophant energy? The Ace of Wands. Okay, so somebody's like intentionally like wanting someone to cheat. The Three of Swords. This could be an ex-lover. Somebody intentionally like wants someone to cheat or, or whatever this is. This could be someone here that's called, speaking to like someone of authority. They fucking somebody in a higher position or authority figure. And they keep trying to like rain down justice on the nine of pentacles or something like that. Somebody's fucking somebody in this hierarchy energy or in an organization. Yeah. Somebody could be cheating with someone here that works for this, this agency. Who is the queen of swords? the hermit in reverse so this could be someone that has lost their way they're not wise or this person could be could have been investigating something when it comes to you seven of swords they could have tried to attack you and they got caught anyway what's the same shit different day believer we have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, somebody being trapped, stuck, or playing victim. It's the same shit, different day with this person getting caught in the act, doing something malicious to you, gossiping about you, or trying to deceive you or trick you, and they get caught and they play this victim role. I feel like Libra, you're just like, man, no. What's the Eight of Swords? Gemini energy? You're just like, man, no. Look, mm -mm. we have the Ten of Swords. Now they want to recover something because they done did all that they could. They done betrayed you, and it's like, it, it's like it, everything has to get better now. Also, this person could be resisting an inevitable end. It's like they want to come and like um, recover. <laughs> you could be recovering from some type of betrayal that this person does over and over again. It's like they want to betray you and then they want to recover the situation. They want to betray you. It's like they want to repeatedly hurt you, hurt you, backstab you, cheat to you, lie. Like, and then they want to recover a situation. This is a repetitive cycle. Somebody has a mental issue. What's the Eight of Swords? Ten of Swords in reverse? Yeah, the Queen of Wands. What's the Queen of Wands? 
what about this queen of wands? So I feel like you could be doing you or you could be recovering. You're just doing you. You're the nine of wands. So this is a Sagittarius that has a chip on their shoulder when it comes to you for some reason. They're paranoid or they're overwhelmed or they're just ready to give up. They're not, um, they're not persistent. This could be this energy making it seem like they're um, courageous or they're persistent, but they're not. Hold on, y'all. My bad. Let me just I gotta spread my leg out. Okay. Whew, that feels so much better. What about this Queen of Wands? This Queen of Wands has a chip on their shoulder for some reason. They're overwhelmed. This person's on edge. They could be the last one standing or something like that. What about this Queen of Wands that has a chip on their shoulder? The chariot. Because either you're moving forward, you're moving, you be getting a new car. Something about a new car. Something about a new car, a new home. Something's picking up, moving fast for you about to celebrate. So I feel like somebody here is like, they have a chip on their shoulder because you keep overcoming these obstacles you keep persevering. This could be a this could be an entrepreneur, or this could be a sag, or or somebody with sag. What's the chariot? Somebody is mad. Yeah, the three of pentacles. It's like these energies got caught working together. There could be people here collaborating, wanting to come clean about the people that they were working with to go against you, to do something malicious to you, to steal from you. These people could have been working together. And now it's like their conscience could be, coming, kick, uh, could be kicking in. What's the three of pentacles, the seven of swords in reverse? Their conscience could be kicking in. What's this? The ace of cups? What's the Three of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords? The Death card. Something isn't over. They're not changing. Scorpio Energy, Aquarius, Capricorn, Cancer, Sag, Gemini. We got you, Libra, the Justice card. So I'm getting karmic justice is being served. Or maybe karmic justice. Maybe you done spoke about, you, you, you called the higher ups or... Maybe this could be you. Maybe you have called someone and there's an investigation that is over with um, Libra. And I feel like karmic justice is being served possibly on your behalf. Whatever this is, um, is being made fair. Okay? You stood your ground. You could be looking at someone like, man, you got a chip on your shoulder because I moved on or like... Mm -hmm. yeah we have judgment so i feel like somebody could be answering a calling or that it's time for someone to answer the calling or it's time for this energy to go through a rebirth it's like they need to stop trying to hold on to something they, their conscience is already kicking in about these deceptions or about keeping a secret from you and it's like they're still holding on to stagnation or they're holding on to something that has been over. They keep working together with this group for some reason. This group, these people here that you work around, Libra, they have a resistance to change. They do not change. They have fixed energy. That's just what it is. They're stuck in the same, I don't know. They just don't want to change, though. And I'm getting, that's just, okay, who cares? What about this boss that's multifaceted, that runs our own business? What about this boss? Do I want to use this deck? I'm like really like not really shuffling this deck like that. Hold on. Somebody could be trying to run off with your shit. Something that you created. Libra. Somebody's trying to literally like run off with something of yours. Maybe you have clarity about this as well. Somebody keeps evil eyeing you because you're multifaceted or you do a lot of things. You have you wear multiple hats. 
What's this runs on business? Stable, multifaceted for my Libras. Yeah, the emperor, okay? So you could be coming out in this masculine energy. You could be in divine masculine, in, in your masculine energy, Libra. You could be um, taking a leadership role. Or for some of you, you're balancing your your um, your feminine with your masculine energy. You could be coming out as this emperor energy, all right? Very secure. Or this is how this emperor looks at you. This emperor looks at you as a boss. What about this emperor and this um, boss bitch? Yeah, this emperor looks at you as a boss, ten of cups. This could be like the father of your kids, or they look at you as divine love. Like, damn, like you a boss. You Like, for some of you, to my feminine energies, you could be a boss. You could be a lady in the streets and a freak in the sheets, okay? And that is how this masculine looks at you. This person feels like they belong with you. It's the emperor. They feel like they're aligned with you because you're a boss. This is how they view you. They look at you as a boss. Or for some of you, you coming out as an emperor. Or for some of my Libras, you viewing somebody here as a boss. Okay? And you want a ten of cups with, with this person. For my Libras, you could be coming out um, to my male Libras. You're coming out as emperor energy. Um, very stable, a father figure, very much established, okay? Yeah, you're very respected, okay? Very secure. What's this um talking shit and girl fight? What about this person? We have a queen of pentacles. What's this talking shit and girl fight with this judge? Or a judge could be sending a letter to end something, yeah, I feel like there's a judge that's sending a letter or somebody's trying to end something or they're trying to get a judge to send a letter to you. What's this letter about? A knight of wands, a king of swords. Something here is premeditated. Somebody hurried up and sent something, sent something to you. They did not cross their uh, T's or dot their I's. They're, they were careless. Whoever this is in this scattered energy, this is a knight of wands energy and a king of swords. That's That's ruthless. Okay, so I feel like somebody could be fucking someone, a king of swords, and they misuse their power. Somebody's fucking with somebody here in a legal system or a judicial system, and they could be trying to, like, um, abuse their power. <laughs> All because this bitch is jealous of you. Who is this Karen? Show me who this is. A Karen could be the king of pentacles. It could be this Taurus here. Who is this Karen? And what do they want? Yeah. We have a King of Wands. It's a fire sign. It's a warlock. Somebody that's impulsive. And we have a King of Wands. You have a lot of people in this energy. A lot of masculine energies in here that's talking shit about you, Libra, for some reason. These energies are, are chaotic. They're frustrated. They're losing energy. Okay. Maybe they are like... They were so impulsive and they're talking shit about you because they're the ones that was impulsive or they're the ones that's doing one something here with the nine of wands in reverse. So whoever this king of wands is in reverse, this person's ruthless or it's like you wouldn't let this person sleep with you, this warlock. And they all could be talking shit. This could be a whole bunch of men that are being caring towards you. What about this King of Wands, King of Swords, this King of Pentacles with the Knight of Wands in my virus? I'm getting all these men have an STD as well. Yeah, you broke free from these energies and they're mad. These energies are mad because their hidden agenda didn't work or you didn't allow them to come and affect you with a fucking STD, bro. They have legal issues. So this is a hidden agenda. This was the hidden agenda. And they're talking shit and they're being a caring. Because you won't let them get you sick or you won't let them do something to you. You broke free from that. Yeah. This is a warlock. We have a two of cups. So you could be holding back from partnering up with this soulmate. Or you're realizing that somebody's trying to control you or they're trying to like... Um... You just... I'm kidding. You could just be holding back. But this has to do with like control or this could be a soulmate or somebody that's still holding on to you here, Libra. It could be this emperor. What about this king of wands? Yeah, look, there you go. And you're the empress. You're coming up as a pair to your divine masculine. 
this person is still holding on to you. What about this emperor? And homie in love. What about homie in love? This person is in love with their empress. I'm trying to tell you, this is your person. They want a new passion to begin and they're still in love with you, Libra. Two of Wands. I'm hearing that um that I choose you. It's like somebody wants to choose you or they want to come towards you or yeah. And I feel like there's other energies in here that could be they, they could be like um scattered for some reason. This could be an air sign. I don't know who this air sign. Who does King of Swords in reverse? They could be the same person as this King of Wands in reverse. Shape shifting ass. Yeah, King of Swords is going to jail. Whoever this is, they're, they're stuck in a victim mentality. They keep lying. They think they're a know-it-all. But there's an emperor over here that's very that's stable, that's working on themselves. All right. What's the eight of swords? This person's scared or they're 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 feeling restricted. These men over here, they feel restricted. Yep, the nine of pentacles because they they going through some type of setbacks right now. All of these men are trying to marry you for money, or these men are feeling disempowered because something is over with them. They're like classes. I mean, they're just lacking, especially when it has to do with financially. What about this King of Pentacles? This King of Pentacles is the only one that's like working on themselves or like they paying attention to detail. This person could be like paying attention to you or they could be focusing on you. A King of Pentacles could be. I keep seeing a Five of Wands as well. So there's a Nine of Pentacles in reverse. There's someone here that's codependent. Virgo energy, somebody's like very codependent or they're going through some type of setbacks. But I feel like the reason why these masculines are going through setbacks is because of this nine of pentacles in reverse. This is someone here that's frivolous. Okay, they live above their means. Now they're trying to reject this person. They're trying to reject the nine of pentacles in reverse. Either somebody's lying, saying that they're not married or they, they're codependent or they're with someone else. Or they're saying that they're single and they're self-sufficient and they're not. This is someone here that's not single or they're not self-sufficient. I'm getting this person could be the one that could be a caring towards you or they could be talking shit about you. Yeah, they're in a fire with pentacles. They're going through some type of lack right now, Libra. What's the nine of pentacles here, reverse? Who is this person? We have the four of wands. Somebody's a homosexual and I'm getting this a queen of wands in reverse. This is a feminine energy that goes like and fuck for a place to stay. This could be someone that's married or they're codependent. They will marry you for money or they will marry you for stability. That's just what it is because they're losing the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody will marry somebody for stability. And I'm getting this, this caring energy or maybe you call this person out saying that, oh, you're a dark witch or you're a practitioner or you got some of you. This person does have legal issues and they're getting bad news. Whoever the Nine of Pentacles in reverse is. They're getting bad news from this hidden agenda that they did. And this could be their tower. Mm. I'm getting this person could have possibly did some type of spell on you. All right. To mess with your throat chakra. Anything else for Libras? In closing. Yeah, we have the six of wands. I feel like somebody's about to be feeling discredited or they're taking a fall from grace. Leo energy. Um, I feel like you could have been dealing with energies that were clout hungry. It could have been these energies over here that were clout hungry. Yep, the world card. Yeah, it's like somebody wanted success so bad. 
they wanted to be world renowned. They wanted to be seen of all across the world as famous or I feel like this could be somebody here taking a fall from grace online or maybe the world is going to be able to see this. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. All right. Somebody's okay. So how somebody's cycle is ending is them taking a fall from grace. That's how they cycle is ending. Them being discredited, them feeling ignored, them losing support, they losing victory. That is how their cycle is ending. And this is not going to be no secret. This is going to be broadcasted everywhere. The moon in reverse. Yeah, this is a secret coming out about somebody not having no victory, not having no success. They feeling discredited. This could be a lot of people that's haunting this person. Yeah, somebody's lovers. The lovers and the chariot. This could be like, oof. This could be a lot of lovers hunting one person down. What's the secret that's coming out? Three of cups in reverse. This could be a rumor. This could be some type of hidden rumors, gossip, and all this shit is coming out, Libra. I got cancer energy, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius here. What's the three of cups? The ace of pentacles. This could be about some type of hidden abundance. The ace of wands. This could be like who somebody been sleeping with, who they've been having sex with. Somebody's gossiping about who somebody has been having sex with. All right. What's the ace of wands? Eight of wands. Yeah, I feel like somebody's penis. They they send they they penis. Somebody's like been seeing like um sending like penis pics, and I feel like. They have a lot of people know who this person's what this person's penis looks like. Everybody know what this person's penis looks like. Everybody done seen this person's penis. Like this is someone here that get around. They don't possibly slept with like a lot of women. Like, okay, I'm seeing yeah, eighty one. Okay, I'm hearing sixty. 60, 60 energy. Somebody done, done dead. Somebody done slept with like 60. Oh, God. 30, 31, 38, 36. All right, so I'm here at 18. Somebody done slept with up to 18. Um, I'm saying 10. Yeah, the high priestess. And this could have been a secret or this could be like secret. I don't know, Libra. What's the high priestess? Somebody penis travels like somebody gets like penis pictures and they and, and they travel and they send these like, oh, look at this person's penis. Look at this person. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. And they send this their dick pic to everybody. And this could be someone here that's like, like, I'm just, yeah, everybody done seen it. Everybody done seen your sausage. Everybody done tasted it. Everybody done. This is someone here that some word is getting around fast about this person. Yeah, this is making you not want to invest in them with the seven of pentacles. You don't want to put no work in. You're like, I'm good. I don't want to put no work in. Yes, whoever they see, they're going through a backfire. They're overwhelmed, chaotic. Yeah, two of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I feel like you're just not you're just not thinking about the situation or you're not thinking about going back to this person. I feel like this energy could be losing out on their investments and then they want to come back to you after they done lost everything. They want to come back and try one more time. Hoping that you forgave them. The Knight of Swords and the Justice card. It's like not all of a sudden they want to give you justice. Not all of a sudden they want to do right by you. Not all of a sudden, yeah, I'm just getting on. No. After they done slept with everybody, yeah, not all of a sudden you're my empress. You're my empress. Now I got the truth about you. Yeah, the ace of swords. Yeah, so the truth could be coming out. Or now all of a sudden, like, this person views you as the empress or whatever. Hmm. all right but i feel like it may be an illusion libra
All right, Libra, so that was your reading. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on so you will not miss any of my videos. I'm going to leave it there. Bye.